I'm live now, Brian. I've got the teams in front of me here for the first game. We'll have this covered on SEN, the Thursday night game, and the first of the two Friday night games. SEN have it covered every single week. Is there a station in the world who talks more rugby league than what you have here? I think not. Uh, okay, here we have the first of round 1B, if you want to call it that. The Knights take on the Raiders. It was a thrilling golden point game when they last met up there at McDonald Jones Stadium. That's the venue again, Thursday, 8 o'clock. And as far as team news is concerned, Jaden Braley, who's the co-captain of the club, he's still got that hamstring concern, so he's out. And the man who will join us after 5 o'clock, Phoenix Crossland, starts at hooker, um, who was brilliant last year. Dylan Lucas, who was a big find for Newcastle last year, starts in the back row. New recruit Kai Pierce-Paul, named on the bench. Mm. Jack Cogger begins the year on the interchange. And uh, Adam O'Brien has kept... Jackson Hastings and Tyson Gambles as his halves partner. A text came through before, said, uh, where is this one? Um, it was asking me, it said, Sugar is your man, uh, Mariotta, going to get a start for Canberra. Well, let's have a quick look. And the answer is, he's on the bench. He's on the bench. He's a very good player there for Canberra. Uh, how do they look? Well, the teenage prospect, Ethan Strain, has won the battle to have the first crack at the number six. Uh, he'll line up again alongside Jamal Fogarty. Seb Chris is out suspended still. Jordan Rapiner is the fullback. We thought that had happened last week. That was a tip, and uh, that's come through. Xavier Savage is on the wing. Morgan Smithies, who had a blinder in the grand final in the Super League, makes his NRL debut. He's on the starting side at lock. Um, Corey Horsball is also suspended. New recruit Zach Hosking starts in the second row. Danny Levi will run out as hooker with Tom Starling on the duty, which means no room for... The 2023 regular, Zach Wolford. So there you go, Brian. You've got the teams there for you, which is the Warriors take on the Sharks. All right, yeah, I do over at Go Media Stadium. Uh, chance, nickel clock start. Still no chance. So he's out with a ha hamstring injury. So young Torpiki will line up at fullback. Roger Tulavasashek is in the centres. Gosh, it's good to see him mm. back. He'll bring the crowds back. Luke Metcalf, he's at he's at 5'8". So Tamari Martin in the reserves. That's a... Um, it's quite uh, interesting, that, because I thought Tamari Martin played pretty good in the trials. Uh, there's no room for Jazz. No Jazz. And he's been a heart and soul. Yeah. I'd like to know the Warrior Holics thoughts on this, because I know he's, <laughs> he's a fan of Jazz. So he's not there. So Bunty Afo and Tommy Ale are on the bench. For the Sharks, Nico Hines, he's been cleared of that injury. The quad complaint. So he'll be in the halves with Braden Trindle. Uh, Hamlin Ueli. So he re-signed. Braden Hemlin, you will. Yeah, they, they, everyone was thinking for sure that yeah. he'd have to make way for Adden. So he um, he's re-signed, but he's not in the team because he's done his knee. So Roycey Hunt will be up front, and Toby Rudolph on the bench. I do like, I do like these looks of this Warriors pack. So you got yeah. Harris, Capewell, Jackson Ford, Barnett, Egan, Fenua Blake. That is a good pack. It's good mobile a great pack. pack. Great pack. Uh, that's how that looks. Happy with that, Brian. You happy with the uh, just Kale Iro? He's out of man. He's got to be very close to playing first grade. Where's Dykesy? Is Jessup give his boots back? <laughs> Has he? Jessup? Is it Jesso? Uh No, he hasn't given the boots uh, back. Jesso, he, he, give he, him back, bro. He reckons he wants another pair off him. Imagine that, Kale Iro out <laughs> boots. N A. <laughs> Mar Mar Marty Jessup. Come <laughs> on, Jessup. Uh, that's brilliant stuff. Hello to the boys too. Um, okay. Captain, Storm take on the Panthers, and there's a big... Well, he's named. He's named. Cameron Munster, named to play. He had the groin injury during pre-season, so there'll be tests uh, before Friday. So he'll be 50-50. Uh, Joe Chan has earned yeah. a starting role. So son of Alex Chan? Yep. Former Storm player himself. Bang. With Trent Loyero moving to lock, and new recruit Sean Bloor listed as 18th man, so they're not putting him just... Yet in the starting lineup, sure. Ryan Pappenhausen is back in the fullback role after an incident free few months leading into the season. Panthers, Jerome Luai will play his first game since being injured in the grand final. Sunia Taruva is set to line up on the wing after being injured in the World Club Challenge. Taylor May will get his first crack at centre, which is the void left by Stephen Crichton. And Mitch Kenny. He's out, so Luke Summerton will get the nod at oh, yeah. nine with Tyron Peachy named on the bench. He'll probably be uh, coming on for Luke Summerton to fill the 80 minutes at hooker. So what, Bert got a week, did he? Did Bert get a week? 
Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, he did. <laughs> Sorry, that was just one word. Yeah, <laughs> Bert Kenny. So Bert Kenny just got yeah. one more. <laughs> uh, that's brilliant. Uh, and, okay. no, and, and no um, Nelson, the Nelson effect. No Nelson. No Nelson Yes, here. that's true. Here, no oh, Nelson. That's too far yeah. along on number 22. So let's have a look at the uh, Warbrick Ooh. and Coates wingers. Remus Smith, Nick Meaney in the centres. Uh, I think this is this is the year the uh, the the hoodoo is broken. The belly ache hoodoo gone. Wow, Penrith win here. Well, they just they've had the edge in the forwards in recent years, and no Nass. Nass is no Nass. No, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Sean Bloor plays. I know he's 18th man. They got and and he's a former Panther as well. Like that extra motivation to. Mm. They uh, just don't have much. They just don't have much go forward in this. No. Nah. In, in this um. You got Tui, yeah. They're not, they're not getting much punch out of. I mean, Katoa comes alive in good ball, just getting out of trouble. That's my that's my bit of a fear. What about the Christian Welsh scenario? So, dropped from the captaincy. Yeah. And now he's dropped from the starting thirteen. Yeah, I can see him ended up somewhere Keep else. Going on there. Uh, okay, let's go on to Parramatta take on the Bulldogs. This should be a bumper crowd at Combank Stadium on Saturday afternoon at five thirty p.m. Tourists. Yeah, so for the Eels, Mike Acevo serving a three-game ban. So Bailey Simonson, he's on the wing. Uh, and Morgan Harper uh, will oh. partner Will Penicini in the centres. All night long. Joe <laughs> Lussick is named to start a hooker. Brendan Hands off the bench. Uh, Ryan Matson will start, but Wermu Greg will miss the opener. Now, Ooh. the Bulldogs is where it gets interesting. So Stephen Crichton will be playing at centre alongside All Night Shiraz, Jacob Kiraz. <laughs> Blake Taff will be your half, uh, sorry, your fullback. Um, and Cameron Serralto has clearly been listening to the show because the answer is the answer. Oh, the answer. Drew Hutchinson <laughs> is in the halves with Matty Burton. Uh, Jim Salmon, he will be starting at lock. Matty, Josh... Matty Burton to you, please. Sorry, Matty, Matty yeah. Burton. Jim <laughs> Salmon's at lock. Josh Curran starts on the bench. And it's more interesting to me as well, what is in the reserves? So on the reserves bench, Bronson Sherry and sex on legs, Toby Sexton, as well as Connor Tracy. That's a stacked reserves, never mind their full team. So Connor Tracy... Oh. Connor Tracy yeah. doesn't make the squad. No, it, well, no, he was, well, no, he's out for three weeks. No, Maybe then, that was no, a bit what, of a... Yeah, but why is he on the list then? Oh, yeah. So it's on the reserves, 22nd, 22. Oh, he might be a sneaky in. Mm. The interchange Otherwise, is why would you have him there? Can't, well, what is, why are they... Why, why are you putting Kiraz in the centres? Mate, I reckon, I reckon Connor Tracy, if they've picked him in, the, in that squad... It's got to be in the time. Uh, he'll be playing. I reckon he'll be playing. But anyway, Bulldog Bob, he was pretty much right about his mail. Um, all right, boys, is that all of that, Tourist? That's it. Okay. We move on now to the Gold Coast Titans taking on the Dragon. I think the Gold Coast are in for a, a good year. Keanu Keeney, there's, you know the rap on this kid, yeah. Brian, is huge. Yep. We were speaking to uh, Keenan yep. Palacia last week, and he he was waxing lyrically yep. ad nauseum. Yeah. <laughs> So, Jaden Campbell's a big out. There's no doubt about that. He's going to miss the first month. So, there's a golden opportunity for Keanu Keeney, who, uh, look, they're not comparing him to said player, but they say he plays similarly to him, Billy Slater. I reckon there's a fair bit of Billy Slater in Keanu Keeney. Um, Bo for more moves to the left edge. Get on Bo. You know, he, um, Brian, he hasn't played since 2022, and he was on the rise. He had a massive season, finished the year. Scored in like his last six games in yeah. a row or something. He's a good player. Origin squad. Yeah, squad. Yep. squad. And those beautiful blue boots. Oh. He's got tiny feet though. He's got like pig trotters. <laughs> he does. Tiny little feet. For a big what, man. Nine yeah. and a half? Size seven. So, seven. Next time you see him, yeah, go up to him and have a, have a look at his plates of and just go, what's doing there? He's got tiny George Rose. Tiny really? little ones. Like yeah. a horse. It's strange. Don't know. But you know. Both for more, both feet less. Um, <laughs> so let's go to. No less. <laughs> I think that I think there are seven. I don't think there are seven, but they're definitely not double figures. Wow. Okay. Wow. Um, so tried. both for more. He moves to the left edge. Cleese Haas has claimed the other second row spot. Keenan Palacia, who we spoke to, as you mentioned, Brian, he's at lock. AJ Brimson's right to go in the centre. So what we've seen this weekend in the Teamless Tuesdays, there's been two teams who have resisted temptation to put a former, more seasoned veteran gun fullback. Mm. So Warriors have left Tane Tupiki yep. at fullback, left Roger in the centres, and the Gold Coast seem wedded to having Brimson play in the centres as well with Keanu Keeney getting a chance. Well, it's good, exciting for the fans. Bloody oath it is. The Dragons, uh, Coach Flanagan is stuck with Tyrrell Sloan at fullback, Zach Lomax on the wing, hooker Jacob Little, and 
Blake Laurie. They're good to go. So there was a hamstring concern for Little, and there was a rib concern for Blake Laurie. He might have done the same as me. The versatile Connor Malaysen and NRL debutant Williame Fafita a part of a new look bench that also includes Raymond Fatala Mariner and Mickey Molo. That's how that game stacks up the Titans and the Dragons. We finish things, Brian, with the All Queensland Affair, 4.05 at Suncorp Stadium. It is the Dolphins taking on the Cowboys. Yeah, so Tommy Gilbert, uh, I feel sorry for this poor kid. So he's done his ACL. So he only played a couple of games last year, and so he's out for the year. So Ray Stone will be your lock forward. Kenny Bromwich will come from the bench, and he's going to go into the second row. Harves, O'Sullivan, and Cody Nicarima. Although Sean O'Sullivan failed the HIA last week, so we'll have to watch this space. Uh, they've got the new recruits, the Broncos, former Broncos, Herbie and Fox League every game live every <laughs> round. What about this? There's what no room it? in a 17 for you. Number 19. And Aiken or <laughs> Jake Avarillo. Yeah. What? What's going on there, boys? So Isaiah Cattell would be a front runner for the seven spot if Sean O'Sullivan was to miss out there. I can't believe they've got Jakey Avarillo can't make the side. Anywho... Uh, Cowboys, <laughs> Kyle Felt, well, he's going to be on the wing with Sammy Valamai is in the reserve. Zach Laybutt, I would lay him up, but <laughs> he's going to be the centres because Peter Hickey is gone. Mm. Uh, Season-ending in- injury to Cohen and Hess too. That's another big blow for him. Uh, Jason Tumalolo will be starting a prop and Sam McIntyre joining the bench. So, Jackie, Cliff- Jackie Clifford's not in the side either. He's in the yeah. he's the reserves. I-, I tell you what, Tommy Chester is too good not to be playing NRL. I agree with Someone's that. Someone's going to grab him. Well, someone should. This is where your swap, your loan.com.au should come in. Yeah, well, as Harry Grant did with the Tigers. Tommy Chess is a terrific player. Correct, Mundo. Hello, Dragons. I think they need a fullback and put Sloan <laughs> on the wing. Uh, Tom Chester would be the man for you. A lot of good players on the reserves this week. Only mm. only the 12 teams. But, yeah, you, you sort of could build a 18th team out of some of the names we've seen that aren't in the 17 for round one, both hey, Vegas and here. Are you? Are you I can only think that Avrilo's injured. Yeah. But where would you play him, though? Well, you have him on the bench. Yeah. Surely. He's just got points around him, hasn't he? You'd have him on the bench. Yeah. He could probably slot him in at nine. The reptile has a very unhealthy... Um, What's the tile doing? He just gets into Burton all the time. I don't know why he does that. G'day, Shaggers. Bulldogs have just lost... Just lost. Oh, picking Burton is insanity. Until they put Burton in reserve grade, they have done... I don't think he's a reserve grade at Reptile. No. Nah. How are your bunnies looking though, Reptile? Yeah. <laughs> how, how are you disappointed? Or... Well, what did you think? Where are you at with them, Brian? Former oh, captain. Oh, look, they they've got too many good players. <laughs> yeah. To be, but what what sort of irked me or worried me is yep. the way they defended was how they ended the season last year. Correct. Nothing had changed during the off season. They did that. What they needed to work on. You can't you can't leak thirty six points. Round one on an on a, an abbreviated field on a, bre- on a narrower field when that's all they should have been doing all year yep. just defence defence all off season just work on your defence and they and they've laid thirty six points on them oh, that was that's what I was worried about yeah, it was that three try period Croker Benny Travoyevich Ruben Garrick within like ten minutes yeah after Latrell scored well Latrell tried tried his ass off uh, Alex Johnson he tried to do oh, he scored one late on two so he just needs some look Campbell Graham's a huge loss and. White and it will be back in round three. Imagine round having three. those two in the centres. But alas, you'll get one. Okay. <laughs> we're we're going to go through the draw uh, for South Sydney very, very shortly when I can get this up. But uh be interested to see how the first six weeks looks for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Have you got them in your eight? I didn't have them in my no, eight. No, I didn't have them in my eight. No. I got hammered for it. But in saying that, there's still a long way to go. Okay, here's the Bunnies. Here's the Bunnies' first six weeks, Brian. And just be honest in your very first thought as to what you think will happen. They lost 36 to 24 in Allegiant Stadium. Round two, it's the Broncos at Suncorp. Oh, yuck. <laughs> Round three at Allianz, it's the rivalry. Oh, the oof. Chooks. Yeah, Jack Whiten's back, though. Okay. Jackie Whiten is back. They could be zero from three. Okay. Uh, Bunnies and the Bulldogs. That must be Easter, is it? That is. Uh, that's a tick. That's, well, who knows? Okay. Um, Bunnies hosting the Warriors. <whistles> Bunnies taking on the Sharks. They've always been fascinating clashes. And then the bye. So, Tough draw. How do, and then they come out and play the Storm. Oh, 
They come out after round seven for the bye. They play the Storm, then the Panthers. That's so a brutal, that brutal, is a brutal first six. nine weeks. That is weeks. a brutal draw. But for the next two weeks, they should just be watching that tape and just concentrating on their defence. Yep. They had the two kids in the centres. They had Jacob Gagai making his debut. They had Kenner, who's always – he's been a winger the yep. majority of his career. Um, and Tass. So that's where they got him. They got him on the edge. Yep. Brooksy carved him on the edge. Yep. Tell you who was really good, I thought, Benny Trebojevic. And is nicer than the other two. Is, is he? <laughs> was, it's ridiculous. His family. Wow. Why are you so nice? It, <laughs> why are you so nice? Come over to my house and t- teach my children to be nice. Is there a fourth? Travojevic? Could we see another yeah, one? Yeah, one's a come golfer. Through? One's oh, a gun golfer. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, there you go. one three hundred oh one eleven seventy. That is Team List Tuesday. We'll recap that a little bit later in the program. But it's all happening for the rest of round one of the National Rugby League. And as I said, don't forget, uh, we have... The Knights take on the Raiders on Thursday night, and then we have the five o'clock game, six o'clock game rather. The Warriors take on the Sharkies at Go Media Stadium. Uh, that game will happen at six p.m. on your airwaves here, which is eight p.m. local time. For Aussies living life on the go, Signet Phone Accessories go the distance, keeping you connected and protected. Uh, West Tigers have the buyer as well. The run home with Joel and Fletch.